How dare you try to pawn your unsavory fantasies off on Ethan? Oh, don't carry on so. Our son's a grown man. Father's right, Mother. I'm not a suggestible young I boy. I've waited for years for you and Gwen to get to this point. And now your father's ruined it with his filthy mind. Oh, I will never forgive you if Gwen and Ethan don't get back together. Oh, as always, you're overreacting, my love. I'm as much in favor of Ethan's merger with Gwen Hodgkiss as you are. It's not a merger. It's a marriage, which I'm sure will still happen in time. Don't worry, Mother. Gwen and I still love each other. We just have to work things out. In fact, I'm going to go call her right now. No. You have gone too far this time, Julian. Spare me the three-penny operatics, Ivy. Let's just hope that Gwen makes Ethan a more realistic crane wife than you ever made me. Go to hell! Well, if she has any common sense at all, she'll realize that Ethan's not only a healthy male with the usual drives of a young man, he's also a crane. I'm almost afraid to ask what you think you mean by that. You shouldn't have to ask at all. We've been married for God knows how many miserable years. Too many. No one. No one tells a crane man what he can or cannot do behind closed doors as long as he maintains the appropriate public face. Oh, is that how it works? Yes. You'd have saved yourself a lot of angst if you'd accepted that one little unwritten rule years ago. You see, the fact is, if Ethan wants to bed another woman, he has every right. Gwen must accept that. Before they're married, of course. <laughs> That would be funny, Julian. Getting married never stopped you. Mm -hmm.